it wasn't science. If it wasn't science? Yep. This is another way of saying why do I do science? <laughs> if it wasn't science, I can't imagine that. <laughs> There's no life without science. I was going to be a scientist when I was eight years old. <laughs> particularly in Ethiopia because everything's phonetic and so I've had genes bank I've had the normal gene bank I've also had the gin bank g-i-n bank so oh, that's that where we store nice. the Gordons the tankery the <laughs> beef beater it's actually good is having, having a name gene like when you work in genetic yeah. resources I would have uh, preferred to become a lawyer lawyer and or maybe a farmer Preferably a lawyer. It's renewed the community's interest. And he says, now we do this every year, and it's because of what our partnership has done. So that's very, very rewarding, that kind of thing. Is that the shit you want to hear? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm the head of Genetic Resources Unit at ICARDA. The International Center for Agricultural Research. It's not working. No, no, it's, you have your shirt up. Okay. This one also is good? No, it's all good. Okay, <laughs> with a nice smile. <laughs> What's the first thing that you're going to do that is not working? What I'm missing, let's say, I can confess that, let's say, is, let's say, of course, let's say, uh, the one and 110, let's say, different beers of Belgium. Uh, that is, let's say, sure, let's say something that I'm missing, but you know, you have perhaps, let's say, sometimes, let's say, to sacrifice something. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault gets a lot of attention and publicity. Gene bank managers and their staff very often get very little. The crop trust wants to do something about that. So at the 10th anniversary of the vault, we want to give out legacy awards to some of the gene bank managers that are retiring and that have diligently prepared seeds for the world for years. But they have not only done that, they have done a tremendous job for humankind by safeguarding what is the foundation of our food, these seeds that exist around in the world's gene banks. So we want to thank them for that. And we know that all future generations will appreciate the hard work that have been done by these great people. Daniel I describe as intense. You've known I'm him known him for about 30 years, I think. Oh. <laughs> Has yeah. he always carried a suitcase? He's always carried a suitcase, yes. Do you know what's in the suitcase? His data. His data? Mm -hmm. Yes, his data. <laughs> Harry is uh, meticulous. He's also uh, relentless in his pursuit of uh, knowledge about his collections. Dave always uh, goes right to the heart of the problem. Not afraid to uh, speak his mind. Make a point and uh, goes a bit red with it. <laughs> as he's probably doing now, <laughs> as he sees this. <laughs> Rory's the kind of guy that won't necessarily speak up, but when he does, the room is silenced. He has this way of saying things, the way of putting things that is just completely inspirational. He was that, like that even in 38 years ago. How would I describe Jean? Jean is um, bubbly. But, yeah, she, she bubbles with enthusiasm for, the, for, this, for our field. Jean has tremendous amounts of energy and she will pursue an issue or a point until it is resolved. Ahmed has a love of life uh, and a love of people. He's a wonderful singer and it, oh, yes. it really comes from yeah. his heart. Yeah, yeah. And you get the feeling that the rest of what he does also comes very much from his heart, whether yeah. it is um, building his team or working in the barley field. It's through an international effort that you can save 
let's say, these genetic resources of these COP, let's say, of global importance. A gene bank, one of the major activities, of course, is conservation and also distribution. And we have been distributing on the average over the years 20 to 25,000 uh, samples every year. Well, I will say what, whatsoever you eat today, tomorrow, say I will ask him what did you eat in breakfast. He will say to me the cereals. Okay, which cereals? If he says oats or, or maize or, or, or he says me the uh, peanut butter, then I will say that peanut butter comes from peanut and it comes from the oil and peanut is an oil content crop and the peanut yield is increased and like that how breeding is done. How, what he eats is through genetic resources only. And long term, our, in a gene bank, we talk about for the next hundred years. What we want is this material that we all have to work with today, the genetic diversity, to be available for our great, great grandchildren. I think it is a big responsibility to manage a gene bank. We don't want to lose diversity. We need that diversity both to respond to global food security now, but we also need it to face some of the, the challenges in the future. Any problem that comes along, you come to a gene bank and the gene bank can help you solve the problem. To, to me, that's the big excitement of the gene banks, that you come up with a new idea, we can help you solve it. One of the most important things that we can do as senior scientists is to make sure that there is a generation of young people coming on behind us.